the story behind the Bad Bunny class. <laughs> well, I started using Bad Bunny in my classes here. So I started using his music and his videos as sort of expressions of those texts and popular culture. His songs, Caro in particular, that video had a lot of really interesting representations around gender and sexuality and Latino masculinity. And so I thought that his evolution as an artist was bringing to light and to life a lot of these questions around Latino representations and particularly gender and sexuality. And so students seem to really resonate with the music. And then the summer of 2019, massive protests in Puerto Rico that led to the ousting of the governor at the time, uh, Ricardo Rosselló, and Bad Bunny abandoned his tour and joined the protests. And then I saw him become an even more forceful kind of political figure or voice for young people uh, in a new way. And so I thought I'd like to develop something around that. So for me as an educator, I'm always interested in what are interesting and exciting ways to get students engaged to learn about bigger things, but hooking them with something. And so for me, Bad Bunny is this hook to talk about Puerto Rican history, Puerto Rican politics, U.S. colonialism. It was a dream I had. I want to teach this class. From the big stage to the classroom, LMU is teaching a class on Latin superstar Bad Bunny. This wasn't just a class to listen to Bad Bunny and be fans. It was always very clear that there was a bigger message here. Students have told me that they feel excited to learn in the class. It's a really interesting class because it's kind of looking at history and pop culture through the lens of a figure, like a musical artist like Bad Bunny, and that wasn't really something that you can find in a lot of classes at LMU. I don't have to focus on anything but just having independent thought and creativity. I really like that it's discussion-based. I appreciate that since like you can make your own opinion and think. And I think that's the gift of being able to innovate with your classes is that you can teach about things that you feel passionately about and you know the students will too. And so then that meeting in the classroom is kind of magical. Being able to take my students to see this central subject of our study live in concert was a once in a lifetime experience and I think the students felt that. The ways in which students were able to take what they learned to the class and apply it when they watched the concert and then articulate that really demonstrated to me how critical it is for us to be able to see in real time, live, what we're studying. It adds a whole other dimension. It's a whole other level of connection. We just analyzed all of these lyrics. We just talked about all of the historical context out of which these lyrics emerged and now we're seeing it in person. And I told myself it was so intense. I'm never going to try to take students to another concert again, even though it was so cool. And then I find myself this semester going, oh my gosh, Residente, another artist we study in class, is going to be in concert here. I've got to make this happen. And, and we're making it happen. And yes, I'm excited. I really like Residente and his songs. Like, the, the way he portrays his song is a really different way, and I really do appreciate that. I think there are a lot of different directions the future of this class could take. It evolves alongside an artist and alongside a nation. And right, there's the possibility that Bad Bunny's relevance, popularity shift and change. And then I think the class will change too. Um, I don't think this is a class that necessarily will be taught forever, but I think that some version of this class will be taught forever.